Welcome to this first video of a series of videos that will discuss uh, incremental view maintenance in TB Toaster. The SQL language supports a notion of view, which is basically a named SQL query. Uh, by default, usually SQL views are computed lazily. That means whenever we use them in a query, when we need them, they are computed. There is also a notion of materialized views supported by many database systems, where SQL views are stored in a database. That means they are executed eagerly, um, and the result is stored in the database for future consumption. So we do not recompute the view from scratch every time it is used. Incremental view maintenance is the following problem. Given an update to the database, we try to avoid recomputing the view completely from scratch. So we would like to perform only the work needed to update the view, and we usually do this by determining what changes in the view and then uh, compute this change and apply it to the view, adding it to the view. So here's an example. Uh, suppose we have got a materialized view of the query select star from R natural join S. Um, I will avoid here uh, talking specifically about the scheme of R and S, so I will only say that there is a natural join to be done. Now, assume we want to insert some tuples into R. Let's assume this set of tuples uh, is called delta R. Um, then we can uh, define the delta query uh, for the view view with respect to the change of R uh, using delta R as select star from delta R natural join S. That means we join the new tuples in R uh, with S and these are going to be the result of this uh, query, of this delta query, is to be added to the materialized view V. Uh, we can do this by having some statement like some trigger on the form on insert in the R tuples delta R do insert in the V uh, the delta query, select star from delta R natural join S. So this in general will be faster executing this uh, on insert trigger will be faster than replacing the view by recomputing it completely, which would be uh, uh, doing a query that says select star from the result of uniting R with delta R, natural join S. Um, that uh, relation would uh, would be, this, 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 this view would be computed by joining two large relations. R union and delta R will in general be much larger than just delta R. Um, we can do a corresponding thing for deletions, and of course, uh, updates can be thought as a combination of insertions and deletions. Um, so, if you take again the same query as before, uh, as a materialized DOV, um, and uh, we take the same delta query essentially, but now we delete the result of the delta query from uh, the DOV, we get exactly the uh, compensation, the corrected uh, new version of the view. However, we have to be careful because in general things are not as easy as it looks. We cannot always just take the same delta queries for inserts and deletes. Uh, in general, uh, the problem is more difficult and sometimes the delta queries are quite different. So let's take an example. Consider a materialized view that is the self join of R with itself. Uh, however, um, we are here talking about back semantics. SQL uses back semantics. So what it means is that this is not just a no operation, because in set semantics, joining a relation with itself, no matter what its scheme is, using a natural join uh, on all the columns, of course, um, would just be a no operation. But in back semantics, actually it squares the tuple multiplicities. That means if I've got a tuple uh, occurring twice, then the result will have to tuple occurring four times. And if I've got a tuple occurring three times, the same tuple occurs three times, multiplicity is three, then uh, in the result I would have it occurring nine times. So in this case, uh, the delta query is more complicated, and I can write it down here as the union of uh, three natural joint queries, delta R with R, R with delta R, and delta R with delta R. Um, so we will see later why this is true. The important thing is, it is correct to use this delta query for insertions, but it's incorrect to use it for deletion. That means to delete the result of that query. So why is that? So um, assume that R actually contains two tuples, and uh, or let's actually say let's, R contains one tuple only, no matter what the tuple is, but it has multiplicity two for that tuple, it contains that tuple twice. And um, let's assume that um, uh, we are in, uh, inserting yet another copy of that same tuple. So after inserting that, we would have the same tuple three times in there. Then. Uh, the result of the view before the insert uh, contains well it contains four copies of the sorry contains four copies of the, of the result 
tuple, um, and uh, the delta query would produce five copies. And correctly, after insertion, we would have nine copies of that same tuple because it would be three squared uh, copies of the tuple. However, suppose we actually took this query and tried to delete, that means uh, subtract um, the multiplicities of the V from V, we would have negatively many tuples, which of course is not correct. Um, after inserting, uh, deleting one copy of the tuple from two copies, we should then still have one copy. So the V should actually re remove three copies, not five copies. So uh, it has a very straightforward analogy, analogy with um, uh, basic calculus, um, and it's really exactly what happens here. Um, suppose x is a real number, and dx is the change to it, right? And I want to square that result, right? So we initially have x squared, as our view, and after the change, we would like to have x plus dx squared. And of course, I can just reformulate uh, x plus dx squared as x squared plus the delta of the view, which is 2x dx plus dx squared. So that just follows from distributivity and uh, multiplying out uh, the square of these sums. Now, if we actually say x minus dx, we actually subtract dx from x and square that then we cannot just take the delta that we had of above, which was 2x dx plus dx squared, and subtract that. Uh, if you apply basic uh, algebraic laws, um, we would actually have to subtract 2x dx minus dx squared rather than plus dx squared. So that's the difference. And that would ultimately give us, in the above example, a delta of 3 rather than 5, right? Because suppose dx is 1 and x is 2, then we would... Um, uh, by uh, computing x plus, uh, so 2 plus 1 squared, we would correctly compute 4 plus 5. Uh, and if you said 2 minus 1 squared, we would compute 2 squared is 4 minus 2x dx minus dx squared would be 3. So we have to be careful and in general delta queries, uh, you know, uh, use a more subtle uh, you know, algebra and you should have to understand that and uh, actually apply it correctly uh, throughout a complicated query. Um, we have also seen here this uh, correspondence between natural joins and multiplications and uh, uh, pluses and unions. Um, and this correspondence is actually intuitively correct and we can look into this in more detail later. So one might believe that um, the problems we have just seen are just due to the fact that we used multi-set semantics, but that's actually not true. Um, actually, updates and set semantics fundamentally clash, and we absolutely need multi-set semantics. Um, so, uh, why is that? Because in practice, we want to have associativity of updates. Um, I want to be able to apply updates um, uh, one at a time, or I might like, like be able to, like to, to, to patch them and pull them together. Um, and that's actually not possible in set semantics. Here's an example. So suppose we say, well, I would like to take R the, uh, as a relation, the database, the view, and I would like to insert another copy of R, and then I would like to subtract R. I can do this in two ways. First, I could pull the two uh, updates together, the insertion and the deletion, and they cancel each other out. That means it's a no operation, and what we have in the result is, is still R. The alternative would be to apply these two updates, the insertions of R and the followed by the deletion of R, one at a time uh, to the database, which is R. That means I would uh, add R to R, which in set semantics is a no operation, then I would subtract R, which give me, would give me the empty result. So in one case, um, I would have R, in the other case, I would have the empty relation. And um, uh, although uh, these um, uh, two expressions um, are equal up to parenthesis settings. That means uh, we don't have associativity of updates in the context of set semantics. And that would be very bad because it means we couldn't batch updates, we couldn't do anything opti can, any optimization, it would be very messy um, as to the CL language. And the other thing is, of course, that SQL and every practical relational database system actually uses back semantics, not set semantics. So, in the next video, we will see a clean way of actually creating delta queries that actually works equally well for insertions and deletions and it solves the problems we've just discussed.